12. Imams In the annals of Islamic history, few stories evoke as much reverence, sorrow, and inspiration as the lives of the twelve Imams of Twelver Shia Islam. These twelve revered figures, starting with Ali ibn Abi Talib and culminating in the hidden Imam, Muhammad al-Mahdi, are not merely historical figures, but are the very heartbeats of a community that has endured centuries of trials and tribulations. Each Imam's life is a testament to unwavering faith, profound wisdom, and ultimate sacrifice. Their legacies are woven with threads of devotion, martyrdom, and hope, embodying the enduring spirit of resistance against tyranny and the unyielding quest for justice. As we delve into their stories, we are not merely recounting historical events. We are journeying through a tapestry of divine guidance and human resilience that continues to inspire millions across the world. The Twelvers, also known as Ithna Ashariya or Imamiya, represent the largest branch of Shia Islam. Central to their belief is the doctrine of the Twelve Imams, spiritual and political successors to the Prophet Muhammad, who are considered infallible and divinely appointed. The first Imam, Ali ibn Abi Talib, was the cousin and son-in-law of Muhammad. Born in 600 CE, he was the first male to embrace Islam and became known for his profound knowledge, piety, and valor. Ali played a crucial role during the Prophet's life and was designated by Muhammad as his successor at Ghadir Qum. However, after the Prophet's death, leadership disputes led to his delay in becoming Caliph. Ali's Caliphate, 656-661 CE, was marked by internal conflicts, notably the Battle of the Camel and the Battle of Siphon. His assassination in 661 CE by a Karajite ended his life but his legacy as a just and wise leader continued to influence Islamic thought. Hassan ibn Ali, the second imam, was born in 624 CE and is revered for his role in attempting to unify the Muslim community. After Ali's assassination, Hassan inherited the leadership and faced immediate opposition from Muawiyah, the governor of Syria. To avoid further bloodshed, Hassan entered into a peace treaty with Muawiyah in 661 CE, stipulating that governance would return to him after Muawiyah's death. Hassan's reign was short-lived as he was poisoned in 670 CE, widely believed to be orchestrated by Muawiyah's agents. The third imam, Hussein ibn Ali, born in 626 CE, is perhaps the most iconic figure in Shia Islam due to his martyrdom at the Battle of Karbala. Hussein refused to pledge allegiance to Yazid, Muawiyah's son, viewing his rule as illegitimate and corrupt. In 680 CE, Hussein, along with his family and followers, was besieged by Yazid's forces at Karbala. Refusing to surrender, Hussein and his companions were brutally killed. This event is commemorated annually during Ashura, symbolizing the ultimate stand against tyranny and injustice. Ali Zain al-Abidin, the fourth imam, was born in 658 CE and survived the massacre at Karbala due to his illness. Known for his devout worship and asceticism, he played a vital role in preserving the teachings of Islam through his prayers and supplications compiled in a book known as Sahifa Sajadiyah. His leadership was marked by spiritual guidance rather than political ambition, reflecting the tumultuous period of Umayyad oppression. Muhammad al-Baqir, the fifth imam, born in 676 CE, is credited with laying the foundation for Shia jurisprudence and theology. His deep knowledge earned him the title al-Baqir, meaning the one who opens knowledge. He expanded the religious sciences and his teachings significantly influenced both Shia and Sunni traditions. Jafar al-Sadiq, the sixth imam, born in 702 CE, is a pivotal figure in Islamic history. He is known for his profound contributions to Islamic jurisprudence, theology, and science. Jafar's teachings were influential in the formation of major Islamic schools of thought, including the Hanafi and Maliki schools. He also emphasized the esoteric interpretation of the Qur'an, 
known as the Batiniya. Musa al-Qadim, the seventh imam, born in 745 CE, is remembered for his patience and steadfastness under Abbasid persecution. Imprisoned multiple times by the Abbasid caliphs, Musa's calm demeanor earned him the title al-Qadim, meaning the one who swallows his anger. His leadership focused on guiding the Shia community through difficult times of political repression. Ali al-Ridha, the eighth imam, born in 766 CE, was known for his knowledge and piety. In a significant political move, the Abbasid Caliph al-Mamun appointed him as his successor. Although Ali never assumed power as he died in 818 CE, believed to be poisoned by the Abbasids. His designation as heir was a strategic effort by al-Mamun to legitimize his rule and placate the Shia population. Muhammad al-Taqi, the ninth imam, born in 811 CE, also known as Muhammad al-Jawad, became imam at a young age. Despite his youth, he was renowned for his wisdom and knowledge. His leadership was challenged by the Abbasid Caliphate, but his intellectual debates and discourses cemented his position as a revered leader. Ali al-Hadi, the tenth imam, born in 828 CE, also known as Ali al-Naki, led the Shia community during a time of increased Abbasid surveillance and oppression. His teachings and writings focused on maintaining the spiritual and ethical integrity of the Shia amidst political challenges. Hassan al-Askari, the 11th Imam, born in 846 CE, spent much of his life under house arrest in Samarra. Despite these constraints, he continued to provide guidance to the Shia community. His premature death in 874 CE, without a publicly recognized successor, led to a period of uncertainty and confusion among his followers. The 12th Imam, Muhammad al-Mahdi, born in 868 CE, is a central figure in Twelver Shia belief. According to Shia tradition, Muhammad al-Mahdi went into occultation to protect himself from Abbasid persecution. His minor occultation, during which he communicated through a series of deputies, lasted until 941 CE. This period was followed by the major occultation, during which he ceased direct communication with his followers. Twelvers believe that al-Mahdi is still alive and will reappear at the end of times as the Mahdi, a messianic figure who will restore justice and equity, defeat tyranny, and establish a universal government based on Islamic principles. The belief in the Mahdi's return instills hope and resilience in the Shia community, symbolizing the ultimate triumph of good over evil. The concept of the imamate, with its emphasis on divinely guided leadership, differentiates Twelver Shia Islam from other Islamic sects. The Twelve Imams are seen not merely as political leaders, but as spiritual guides who maintain the purity and continuity of Islamic teachings. Their lives and sacrifices are commemorated and revered, and their teachings continue to shape the religious, ethical, and social ethos of Twelver Shia Muslims.